Blackbody Tapestry is a comprehensive constituent relationship management, fundraising, and donor management database. Like any nonprofit database software, there are tips and best practices that can save time and streamline organizational workflows. Some eTapestry best practices are obvious while others are not. Let's dive into the top 12 eTapestry tips and best practices that will help you get the most out of your software. Let's start by talking about your dashboards. Dashboards are pre-built reports that update in real time. They are available on both the eTapestry home screen and the account home screen. There are a number of dashboard tiles to choose from and some are more valuable than others. It is an eTapestry best practice to place the goal performance, campaign performance, and approach performance dashboard tiles on your home screen. These tiles are quick snapshots of key fundraising performance metrics. They aggregate data from your eTapestry database and benchmark that data against your fundraising goals. You can add and arrange dashboard tiles via the select tiles and layout link at the bottom of the home screen. Make sure to add goals and benchmarks to these tiles by selecting the management dropdown and editing your campaigns, approaches, and goals under donation strategies. An active dashboard that is set up with benchmarks displays actionable and relevant fundraising performance information. Like home screen dashboards, there are also dashboard tiles for the account home screen, which is the starting screen for every account in your eTapestry database. Account dashboard tiles show information on that specific account's giving history, contact details, household relationships, and more. The tiles you select for the account home screen will vary based on need, but the recent journal entries, account giving summary, and account five-year summary tiles are highly informative and recommended. Now that you've set up your dashboard, let's talk about your account headers and sticky notes. Account headers are easy to set up and make eTapestry easier to navigate. Access an account and select Edit Header. Add and remove account information such as email, phone numbers, address, and user-defined fields like mailing status or do not call distinctions. Account data is populated in the account header so you can access important information quickly. A properly formatted account header will save you time because you won't need to access an account's personas or define fields page to find key information. If you need to call or email a constituent, their phone number and email address are front and center in the account header. You may have accounts that have special conditions or qualifications and want these circumstances to be accessible to all users in your eTapestry database. For example, a donor may specifically ask that you do not call them. Or it may be a major gift prospect and this individual should only be contacted by a specific person in the organization. Use your eTapestry sticky notes instead of the account header to make special conditions and qualifications readily accessible. A sticky note is a free floating notification that pops up when the account is opened. It remains on the account screen until you leave that account. Sticky notes are colored and impossible to miss. Add a sticky note to an account by adding text to the persona note and selecting a sticky note from the dropdown. Save the account and the note will remain until it is removed from the persona. Now let's talk about eTapestry's dynamic search feature. The search bar is located at the top of your eTapestry screen above the menu bar and to the right of the Blackbody Tapestry logo. The search bar dynamically updates when you type, saving you time. Start typing the letters in a name and the search bar returns possible matches based on your search query. You may not need to type the whole name of an account before the name pops up in the dropdown. Select the account you want from the dropdown to go to the account home screen. Can't remember how someone's name is spelled? In addition to the dynamic search feature, you can also use the wildcard feature in the standard eTapestry search. Select accounts and then select find an account. Type the combination of letters you know from the name of the account you're looking for and then place an asterisk at the end of the characters. The asterisk symbol is a wildcard and tells eTapestry search feature to fill in the rest of the name with any combination of characters as long as it contains the letter combination you placed in front of the wildcard character. 
I think we've all had the experience where we get frustrated trying to pull a constituent list for a newsletter mailing or event invitation only to find that a percentage of your database doesn't have an address, some don't have salutations, and others do not have an email address. It is an eTapestry best practice to consistently add data to your database when new data is known. When accounts are created and anytime they are open, make sure each account persona is complete or has at least one piece of identifying contact information such as email, phone number, or address. If you know the persona details of an account, immediately fill in that information. This guarantees that you will have accurate and complete information for each account in your database. It is also important to complete the salutation fields on a persona. Make sure each account has a completed salutation field set. You may even consider making the salutation fields required. I think we can all agree that constituents aren't all the same. They have different tastes, communication preferences, likes, dislikes, and expectations. Track these unique characteristics in eTapestry with user-defined fields on the constituent defined fields page of an account. This best practice takes planning, design, thought, and discipline. When done right, segmenting accounts with defined fields can help your organization serve donors in a more personalized way. Constituent defined fields segment accounts so you can target donors, interact with them, and serve them in a specific and personalized way. You might segment your accounts by communication preference, topics of interest, whether they like being invited to events, or expected frequency of interaction. The possibilities are endless and user-defined fields can be added to your database or disabled at any time as your organization's needs change. Account type and mailing status are two important user-defined fields for your eTapestry database. You may expand your account segmentation beyond these two fields, but make sure your eTapestry database is set up to track these important account characteristics. The account type field identifies the entity type for the account. It is an eTapestry best practice to flag each account with an account type. You may consider making this field required. Account type values may include business, organization, individual, religious, government, and foundation, among others. Mailing status is used to maintain clean mailing lists. Mailing status field values should include do not mail, do not solicit, not head of household, bad address, deceased, and inactive. If you maintain a single field for all negative mailing status values, meaning those values that indicate accounts you shouldn't mail, you can use the field has no value option in queries to segment out bad mailing status accounts without building a compound query for your mailing list. Each mailing status field value should apply directly to regular mail communications. Do not include email or phone status values in this field. You should create a separate user-defined field for each communication type. Sometimes it's difficult to find a specific journal entry when an account's journal contains hundreds of entries. This is especially true if you need to add a payment to a pledge, edit an event attendance tracker, or update a journal contact with notes. The journal search is a simple solution for this challenge. At the top of the journal screen, there is an area for filtering the journal. Select more options and use the advanced search features to find the information you need. You can filter by date, type, and even keyword. While it is intuitive to track donations, pledges, event registrations, and account information in eTapestry, don't forget about contacts and notes. As an eTapestry best practice, log all interactions you have with a constituent and all interactions the constituent has with your organization. This should include phone calls, emails, and general notes. Tracking all contacts and notes produces a historical record of your engagement with a constituent in the eTapestry journal. This running history and timeline of engagement guarantees that you can always go back and review something if you forget. It also allows others in your organization who may not have been the primary contact for that account to review the constituent's history. Did you know that you can send one-off emails directly from eTapestry? Send an email from eTapestry by clicking on the email address in the account header. 
from the persona page by clicking on the email icon or from the advanced search area using the email icon to the right of the quick actions drop down. When you click any of these options, eTapestry produces a blank email template for you to complete. You can also use pre-existing eTapestry communication templates in one-off emails to save time. You can use merge fields in a communications template to personalize the email while still using a stock template from your eTapestry communications library. The recipient sees the email address that is associated with your user profile, so the email comes directly from you. The best feature of one-off emails is that you can create a journal contact record for the email right from the send email screen. This eliminates the need to copy and paste email messages from your organization email to journal contacts in eTapestry. You can send, add contacts, and log them to an accounts journal with one simple action. Another of our eTapestry top tips is to create online donation forms to capture online transactions with eTapestry's DIY forms. eTapestry DIY forms are a time saver because they provide end-to-end -end support for online donations and are easy to deploy. The DIY form ecosystem can be constructed so that the entry of the donation, the population of the donation in eTapestry, the generation of a receipt, and the sending of that receipt directly to the donor via email are all automated. Donors will benefit from an integrated donation experience. The simplicity of this process doesn't eliminate the need for direct one-to-one -one contact with the donor, but it does streamline the operational tasks associated with online giving. We recommend running a LiveBunt report on a regular basis. Donor retention is important because retaining donors is less expensive than acquiring new ones. In order to retain existing donors, you must know which donors are lapsed. Your eTapestry database comes with a pre-built lapsed donor query called LIBUNT. LIBUNT stands for last year, but unfortunately not this year. The eTapestry LIBUNT query finds all donors who are lapsed from last year to this year. Most organizations pull this query with a report that exports the name, address, email, and phone number for every constituent account in the query. Running this report monthly and hanging it on the wall next to your desk can be a great motivator and reminder. As the year progresses, make sure that every person on that list has renewed their support for your organization or is personally contacted. If the donor chooses not to give this year, which is a possible response, Ask them why. It is important to learn something about your donors in the process of retaining and renewing them. The LiveBunt query and a basic contact information report offer a simple operational control for retaining donors year over year. We often end up seeing queries and reports that are no longer relevant or useful. Look at the created and last used entries next to the query or report to determine which queries and reports to delete. If a query or report was created five years ago and hasn't been used in the last two years, it may be worth deleting. Consider cleaning your query and report lists on an annual or semi-annual basis to ensure your lists remain relevant, clean, and tidy. If you don't want to delete old queries or reports, Create a special category for old queries and reports and move them there. Query and report lists can get large, cumbersome, and even overwhelming. Clean up your list so you can find the queries and reports you're looking for. Our final best practice is to make campaign and approach fields required. Every transaction in a tapestry can be flagged with a fun campaign and approach. The Fund Campaign and Approach field segment transactions so every dollar raised and received is accounted for. These three fields are the basis for fundraising performance measurement in eTapestry and are a core feature for standard dashboards and report. It is a best practice to flag every transaction with a Fund Campaign and Approach value so you can measure fundraising performance against your budget, goals, and fundraising strategy. Fund is a required field in eTapestry by default, but campaign and approach are not. To make the campaign and approach fields required, select management and then campaigns or approaches. 
Under Settings, select Require Campaign on Transactions and Require Approach on Transactions. The Campaign and Approach field will turn red on the Transaction Data Entry screen. A red field indicates a required field. Requiring the Fund Campaign and Approach fields allows your organization to segment, report, and analyze raised and received totals with ease. The combination of these three fields gives your eTapestry transaction data depth and density so you can compare the effectiveness of your fundraising strategies. All of these tips and best practices emphasize the importance to conduct fundraising and constituent engagement work in eTapestry. This means having eTapestry open on your computer during the day and working in your organization's database. Having eTapestry open as you perform your day-to-day -day tasks forces you to enter data in eTapestry and eliminates the potential of collecting external data on spreadsheets, documents, post-its, or notebooks. The best way to gain confidence in eTapestry is to use it. As you use it more and more, you will become more confident and comfortable with the system. Most importantly, working directly in eTapestry will save you time, energy, and effort. Take notes log interactions, enter data, segment your users, report, access dashboards, engage your constituents, and manage giving workflows all through Tapestry to maximize your investment by making it a key part of your daily work. Best practices should make your work easier, less time consuming, and more streamlined. These 12 eTapestry tips and best practices are relatively easy to implement and can help you and your organization get the most out of Blackbody Tapestry. eTapestry, like any other software, is a tool. Building capacity, learning new tips and best practices, and building your understanding will help you maximize your use of eTapestry and will hopefully translate to productivity gains and tangible fundraising results. At Sidekick Solutions, we are consultants that specialize in eTapestry. Spend your time focusing on what matters to you while we handle your database and help you get the most from it. Do you have questions about eTapestry? Explore more best practices on our website at sidekicksolutionsllc.com forward slash eTapestry or contact us today at info at sidekicksolutionsllc.com.